Mourners at the main government building in Bishkek pay homage to scores of protesters who died storming the building last week. Among the flower arrangements is an expression of sympathy with the Kyrgyz people from the Talas Gold Mining Company. On Tuesday, international mining companies expressed public concern about arbitrary property seizures. They joined 300 representatives of small and medium-sized Kyrgyz businesses who appealed to Interim Finance Minister Tamir Sariyev for protection against lawlessness. I want everyone to understand that those who today hang around offices planning to get into the rating business or racketeering, our position is firm. I am telling anyone standing outside offices trying to seize anyone's property illegally, we will block any such attempts. The Kyrgyz revolt sparked widespread looting of kiosks, supermarkets, and shopping malls. Loss estimates are still being compiled. Oluk Kiderbaev, CEO of the Bishkek Business Club, says perhaps the greatest loss is intangible, trust in the country's stability. He says some in the business community also fear that interim leaders may seize assets just like the Bakiyev regime. They announced a list of companies that sort of have a, have a connection or affiliation with the family of, a former per, of, of the president. And the problem is there's some number of some companies that are, have no truly affiliation, but they will enlist. So now they're in danger to be uh, nationalized or taken away. Business and civic activists are holding various meetings these days to discuss how to avoid yet another revolt in Kyrgyzstan. Entrepreneur Emil Umetaliev points to what he says is the interim government's greatest challenge. The legitimacy of the interim government will depend first of all on the strength and stability of trust it establishes with the Kyrgy people, and secondly on the way we re-establish international trust in our country and its interim government. As Kyrgyz businesses clean up after looters, they also brace for a downturn following the revolt. Government too faces a cleanup. Its main building suffered serious damage and the prosecutor's office was completely gutted. Oluk Kiderbaev says fixing property damage will be much easier than establishing honest government. For this, he says, business is demanding transparent government. It should be clear, understandable, what they're doing, why they're doing it, what is based all their decisions. This is one. Secondly, they need to have a good, public monitoring, civil society, I mean, participation in their work because, and we want also free mass media, no censorship. Looted businesses in Kyrgyzstan attest to lawless citizens, just as high caliber bullet holes in the fence surrounding the Kyrgyz White House attest to lawless government. Last week, those bullets claimed the lives of more than 80 people, whose photos today adorn that fence. The Kyrgyz often say their country has the potential to become the Switzerland of Asia. They say it will succeed when Switzerland is called the Kyrgyzstan of Europe, where everyone in and out of government can make an honest and decent living. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, Bishkek.